Good day everyone, in this video I will show you the features of one of the tools that we developed for teaching about uh, parsing, especially bottom-up parsers, LR and SLR uh, parsers. As I mentioned, we have several tools at our hand uh, and this will be the first of them uh, called the simulator, which is basically a simple visualization tool uh, to show how an LR parser reads the input and uh, makes decisions, how it handles the stack and so on and so forth. In other versions of uh, the tool, more and more actions will be required to be taken by the students themselves uh, manually, but here everything is done automatically by uh, the tool, so this is kind of the first uh, version where uh, its main purpose is to make students understand what is going on in, inside of a, a parser. And uh, because of that, this is a good starting point to learn about the different components uh, that these tools uh, share. The first one is the finite state machine uh, itself, which contains the LR0 uh, item sets. Um, you can see that in this particular case, we have 11 uh, states, and you can see the items in each of the states uh, clearly. If there is a, an item that leads to a reduction, like here, uh, B to A dot, then the number of the rule um, on which this reduction is based uh, is put here. So the reduction rule is put next to the items uh, themselves. Here on the left, you can see the grammar itself and uh, you can see the numbers here. Uh, if we go a little bit down, the next component that we see is the stack uh, itself. Uh, the stack is divided into two parts. The top part is the state that is contained in the stack and the bottom part is the symbols which are not really there in the stack but uh, if you know what have been read uh, from the input or what have been um, uh, reduced uh, from those uh, symbols uh, then it helps us uh, to follow how the uh, parsing is uh, progressing. Uh, below that component we can see the input, uh, which in this case is a simple A plus B star C, and here this bar indicates the progress of reading the input, uh, so it separates the red part and the remaining part of the input. At the start, of course, it's on, on the left. In the bottom, uh, we will be able to see the derivation tree, which will be built up from the bottom uh, to the top. On the right side, we can see several uh, buttons, but actually for the simulator, these are inactive indicators uh, uh, for the actions that uh, happening. In later versions, students will have to press them to actually execute several uh, events. So if we start, uh, we are in state uh, zero, and the next uh, symbol that we read from the input is A, so we will have to move to state 3 and uh, push that state 3 onto uh, the stack. We will not push A to the stack, but we will put it here on the bottom part uh, so we can keep track of uh, what has happened uh, so far. Uh, you can see uh, the animation uh, clearly goes from uh, state 0 to state 3. You can see a lighter blue uh, border around state 0. This is kind of a shadow of the previous state of the parsing. We can always see what was the previous state of the parsing and uh, where we are now with a uh, darker blue um, color. In, in this uh, component uh, we can do the parsing step by step as I just did with these two buttons or as we will see later we can do it, uh, run it automatically by just pressing the play button. Now the next thing that will happen is that here we have a reduction uh, with uh, rule 5 which is reducing A to B which can be seen either here or uh, here. So basically in the stack uh, this will be thrown out and uh, here instead of A we will have a B and from 0 and B we will have to move to state uh, 2. This happens in two uh, steps. Uh, so first we will drop A and then with B we will move to state 2. If we look at now how it is indicated in the uh, stack, first we remove everything, then put a B and from 0 and B we move to state 2. 
If you look, uh, scroll down, we can see that the derivation tree is extended and we can see uh, where we are with the progress of reading the input. Now the same thing will happen. So let's see now the derivation tree in action when we reduce uh, B to the non-terminal symbol E, uh, then this is uh, what uh, happened. The next action will be a shift action again. We will move with this plus sign to state six, and then we will do the same with uh, symbol uh, B. Again, you can always see the shadow of where we were previously and what is, what is the current uh, state of, of the parsing. Now this B will be reduced to non-terminal capital B again, but now uh, we will not go back to state zero, but to state six, which we know uh, from this top part because we have here uh, the last uh, action. If we look at the stack, we know this because uh, the state six is on the one but uh, most top uh, element of the stack. Uh, so we just go back and we, we look at where we get from state six with B, which is state nine. And here we will have a long reduction, E plus B will be reduced to E. So basically we will have to go back all the way to state zero and move forward to state one. In the stack, these three columns will be removed and uh, only one uh, will be uh, pushed uh, in place of that. So we can see clearly this is happening on the top here in the stack as well. And because the history and the reduction part and the go to part, the forward part overlaps here, we have kind of a dashed uh, arrow uh, there. Here again in the stack, we can see kind of a shadow of the past that three symbols were reduced to uh, this uh, single non terminal. If you just scroll down again, you can see that the uh, derivation tree is extended uh, based on that. Uh, so if you go back, it, it was like this, and uh, now these three were uh, replaced by E. Basically, the top elements in the derivation tree corresponds to the elements which are in the uh, bottom part of this uh, stack representation. And if we just go back, we can uh, play, press the play button and then everything is done automatically and the parser will just uh, continue uh, doing uh, the parsing itself until it reaches uh, state 10 uh, where it will eventually accept this string because it's in the language of uh, this particular grammar. Um, and basically that's it. The main purpose of this tool is to uh, give a student uh, way to see in parallel how the stack corresponds to the automaton and to the derivation tree itself. One more feature of uh, this uh, tool is that instead of the automaton we can look at the parse table which of course has a little bit more information uh, because here we can already see that this is an SLR parser as the uh, reduce actions are not put in the whole line only in the follow sets of in this case rule four so in the follow sets of uh, the non-terminal e and here we can see how this uh, progresses so here we are in state zero the next symbol so always the actual uh, state is highlighted uh, in as a row and the next symbol is highlighted as a, a column so we in the intersection we can always see what is the next action that we have to take here we have to shift uh, this symbol which is A and we have to move to state 3 so this is what is uh, happening uh, the row indicator moves to state 3 and because of the next symbol is a plus the column indicator moves there so we now have a reduce 5 uh, so we will reduce this A to a B and here you can see kind of a history of the A and then uh, the B what you can see on this part of this uh, representation is the stack itself. Uh, we were in state zero and with B, we get to state uh, two. So basically from zero with B, uh, we get to two. And uh, now we will do that uh, reduction from B to E uh, and we will push 
next two elements uh, to the stack as previously. So basically this part is just a visual representation of how we did get uh, into this uh, state. So when we have to go back, we know from where we have to uh, go forward and what was the path that we have taken in the uh, automaton uh, itself. So if we do the next step, which is the reduction of this B to capital B, we can see how uh, this uh, goes. In the reductions, uh, as you can see, uh, there is another uh, color uh, we remember where we started from and then we go to the go to table. So it's the, basically the same steps are uh, illustrated. And here is uh, the picker reduction where we remove E plus B and just replace it with uh, E and go to state uh, one. And we can just um, continue uh, doing that automatically. There are tools in which uh, this table and the automaton is uh, next to each other. In this case, you can uh, choose to see uh, to which one you want to uh, see while parsing the input. And uh, that's it about this uh, simulator. These are all the features uh, that this one entails.